This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. Well, I did record this uh, tutorial a half hour ago and I went to edit and I didn't have any sound. So here I am doing it again. Okay, so <clears throat> we we are going to go into our third person blueprint character. You can just go to your character and today we're going to be creating a hunger system. So this tutorial is going to be um, about player stats really uh, because um, on this tutorial we're going to connect two more videos that's going to be thirst and uh, stress system so hunger, thirst and stress system so yeah um, if you follow this tutorial you might want to follow uh, the other ones as well because it's going to be upgrade on this one so let's just start by creating two variables one would be called hunger, or rather, and make it as a float, or rather call it current hunger. And I can uh, duplicate it with control D and set max hunger as well. Current hunger default value is going to be 100. And the max hunger default value is also going to be 100. So with that being said, now that we created that, we can go to our user interface and create widget blueprint and call it widget blueprint stats. Um, yeah, just like stats. And let's bring a canvas panel there. And let's bring a vertical box as well. We can make it like this. I'm making it a little bit wider. Uh, bigger because uh, we're gonna put more stuff into it in the next tutorial so for now we get we're gonna get horizontal box we're gonna get some text which is gonna go to the horizontal box and some progress bar like that we're gonna fill it like this and align it uh, pad, add some padding like 10 left 10 right make it look nicer uh, font is gonna be like 16 and just I'll type hunger you can also put picture if you want just search for image and replace it with text but I'm gonna use text in this tutorial and the hunger uh, color is going to be for me like this I can actually match it with my text color Okay, so now if we pull percentage, you can see this is the progress bar that's used for hunger systems, health systems, etc. So here we're not going to bind it because there is much more uh, efficient way of doing so than just binding. This would be easier way, but it takes out performance. It doesn't matter if it's just... Um, if it's smaller game, but I like, I'm I'm just that guy that just likes performance where I can get it. So we're gonna go to the graph. We're gonna first rename this to hunger bar, and make sure it's variable. This text doesn't have to be a variable because it's not gonna change, but this bar needs to be variable. Go to the graph, and here we're gonna create function first, calling calling it calculate percentage hunger or calculate hunger percentage rather but to get hunger from our uh, third person character we need to cast so cast to third person character in my case you probably have your character so get player character for the object and as bp character promote it to variable and call it character reference okay so because we got character reference now we can easily get current hunger but we're not gonna get it here we're gonna get it in calculate hunger percentage so we're gonna get our character reference we're gonna get our current hunger and we are also get gonna get our max hunger and this is going to be our percentage. And how do we get percentage? A little bit of math. We divide it. 
so this is going to give us a nice percentage and now we get the hunger bar and we set percent like that simple as that so this is our binding system but without binding and now we need to because now nothing is going to happen so we need to get custom event it's going to be called update hunger ui or update hunger bar rather and bring calculate hunger percentage and now when we construct this bar we're gonna call it update hunger bar so construct happens when the game starts pre-construct happens before the game starts so it's going to be updating if we press uh, oh yeah first we need to add the widget so go to the character and um, just create widget you can also do this in player controller depends how you do the stuff uh, create widget vb stats we're gonna promote it to variable you will see later why so call it stats ref and add to viewport like this and now if we press play we should have our bar filled and we do so that works but we got our uh, UI ready but we need functions right so how we create those is uh, how we do systems like hunger thirst uh, stress etc um, there is something called set timer by event so this is gonna fire our event here that's gonna be custom event train hunger so this is gonna be our um, event for the draining hunger and this is gonna fire this event every second and we're gonna loop it okay so with that being said let's uh, start draining our hunger so here we will get our current hunger we would subtract it with the second uh, node being promoted to variable and called drain hunger amount so it's uh, I like to be flexible with this stuff so I can always change it when I want I will set to one now perfect and then we're gonna first branch it out and the condition is gonna be less or equal to zero so first a uh, node goes there into the return value of drain hunger and if it's less or equal to zero if that is true we want to print string that because the player dies here you're gonna run your custom event right you're gonna run your custom event for dying but we don't have one in this tutorial it's for another video but before we do that we you remember how we got we promoted to variable this one well that's the stats reference and from there we can simply call update hunger bar and that's gonna work as our binding so let me explain to you why we didn't bind here well if we did bind here this would be run every a millisecond it's gonna be run non-stop while your game is active but we don't want it we want to run this update only when something happens to our health uh, our hunger for example here every one second it happens um, so this is much way a much better way of doing stuff okay um, and it's easily customizable you can get another branch and condition being can drain hunger and if you cannot drain hunger then this is not gonna be run so yeah it's easy to customize all of this stuff I'm just showing you the base uh, mechanic how it works uh, okay so if that is like this uh, we're gonna set current hunger here as well to be zero 
because we don't want to go under zero. Okay, so uh, that works good. And if it's false, then we're gonna get this and set current hug into false. So if it's not uh, below zero, then we can just continue draining food, right? Um, yeah, also, we need to update it. And we can print string as well. To check if it works. So now we can go and test it out. As you can see, it's draining hunger and it shows us in the left corner. Also, it shows us in the UI. You can see there, it's going down. Let me uh, increase this to 10 so we can see if the player is going to die. As you can see, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Now it should say that. Yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, it works. So if the player would run out of the hunger, he would die. Or you can, uh, instead of uh, dying, you can put something like take health, you know. You, you would do that here. Okay, so now, with that being done here, we need some functions as well, like add hunger and like uh, duplicate control D remove hunger and this is very easy to do so in add hunger we're gonna get current hunger we're gonna get max hunger uh, sorry not not that we're gonna add current hunger so add can get like this and the amount that we're gonna be adding is gonna be here and I will show you later why are we doing it like this uh, actually, I'm going to show you right now, because when we add hunger now, you can choose what amount you want. So it's very custom customizable. Okay. But before we do this, this needs to go through a branch, which is going to be less, uh, greater or equal. So when we add all of this good stuff, uh, when we add the hunger, if it's greater than max hunger, we want to cap it. And how we are gonna do that is by setting current hunger, oh, setting current hunger to max hunger. So this would basically do it. So when we would reach above 100, it would set it to be max hunger. Perfect. And if it's false, then just set current hunger like this. And this will work. Also, don't forget stats reference and update hunger bar. So yeah, we saved performance, but now we need to add this to every node where we change it, where we change the hunger. So this works, I can prove it as well. Let's get one key. When we press one key, we want to add 20. And when we press two key, we will connect remove hunger, but remove hunger is not yet done. Let's just test the add hunger. So if I press one, it's gonna go back to 100. You can see the UI when I press one. Yeah. So it works. Now let's get remove hunger. So we can copy all of this inside here. Instead of the plus, we are gonna subtract. And I'm gonna subtract one. Also make sure to compile and save all every time you do some project because if Unreal Engine happens to crash, it's terrible. Uh, so pull this into amount, so the second node. And now we need to check. Condition is if it's less or equal to zero. Like this. 
So if this current hunger, when we remove the amount, is equal or less than zero, if that's true, we want to set current hunger to zero, we want to update the hunger bar and then print string that. Or we can add a custom event for dying or we can remove health depending what you want to do with it. But if that's not the case, then we just connect this node to a set current hunger and we continue with the flow. Nothing happens. Just like that. So now we can remove as well 20. And if we do so, as you can see the UI, it's removing it. And now it's dead. We don't have any more hunger. It's dead. But if I press 1, I can make it, you see, I can play with it. So it works perfect. There goes our hunger system. Also, you can make it more smooth by lowering the hunger uh, drain amount and uh, lowering the time. Mm. And what I mean by that is if I do it like this, and if I do it like this, I can get really smooth bar. As you can see, it's smoother than the last one. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.